Hi. So today we're gonna go over the competition makeup for 2021 moving forward. Everything is written in your competition checklist that you need as far as makeup. There's just two things that we ask you to buy specific brands for. So first it's this lipstick. It is in the color, let me check, burgundy blush. Okay, so this is the lipstick that everyone needs. And you also need this eyeshadow palette, the Morphe Neutral Territory N90, not N. Oops, 90. Okay, was that stupid? No, that okay. was a really good one. Well, you messed it up. It's okay. Juliana's here with us. Hello. <laughs> okay, so the first thing, so you can use any variation of products that you want. This is just what me and Ms. Carrie bought for Sid, but you can use any variation. Um, so first we're going to start with obviously clean skin and we're going to use the e.l.f. Camo CC Concealer, um, not concealer, CC cream. And you can either use like a sponge or a brush. So I'm going to use this kind of brush. So Sid has really good skin, so obviously you don't need that much. So I'm going to take, let's say like that much and we're going to start patting it in. And then what I like to do, but you don't have to do, is I go in with like a sponge after, and it makes it look not so makeup-y. Keep blending. I'll do a little bit more. And when I use the sponge, I like tap it in instead of rubbing it. That way it doesn't pick up the makeup. Very simple, not so makeup-y, just a nice wash of color and it cancels out the redness. Okay. And then the next thing that I like to go in with is a little bit of concealer. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. the Hydrating Camo Concealer, but again, you can use whatever concealer you guys have or prefer. So I'm gonna put a little bit on her eyes to cancel out the veins. That way the eyeshadow sticks better and then just a drop underneath the eye. She can go in with a brush, but I'm gonna go in with the sponge. You just wanna blend that. And then the more you blend, the less it looks like makeup. So, and since they're young, they don't really need that much. You're just doing a little bit of a wash of color to make everything become even. Look up, Sid. Make the under eyes look bright. I'm gonna do a drop more to cancel out the blue. Just a drop, not a lot. And I'm gonna blend that out. I'm no longer broken hearted. So glad I girls don't really need to wear foundation. That's why I really like this because it's light, but it still gives like good coverage enough for like the blush and the bronzer to look nice and smooth. But um again, you can use whatever you have. It's also good to have, let the girls have their own makeup, like in a makeup bag, like Cindy's gonna have hers in here. That way you're not scurrying for products a day of competition, everything's ready. And she has it for competition and then recital and then for next year also. So it's good to just keep everything together. Okay. So really, really blend. Okay. So now I'm gonna go with a little bit of powder. You don't have to do this. I prefer to do this so that the makeup stays on longer. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me, but again, you can use like whatever powder, you take a brush, or it also comes with a sponge that you can use. You don't need brushes, I just prefer brushes. And I'm just gonna put just a little bit, enough to not make her face super shiny, because on stage you really don't wanna be shiny. I came here tonight, and I see you got what I wanted. Baby, you got what I Also, don't do the girls' makeup with their costume on. Do it in like a zip-up hoodie or some a really loose tank top. That way the makeup's not getting on the costume and just it's easier that way. Some of the girls come in robes, like they put a bodysuit on or like their um, clear shot bra and then they just wear their robe over. So you can also do that, okay. So it doesn't look like a lot. It doesn't really look like, I'll come in closer. It doesn't really look like she's wearing makeup. So turn back and forth, other way. But it just makes everything look even. Okay. She's all nice and powdered. Okay, so next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with some bronzer. Um, just to, you know, 
make the skin look not so flush. I'm gonna use the Physicians Formula Bronzer, but again, obviously use whatever works for you. And I'm gonna take the same brush. Um, I'm gonna take a drop. It smells good. It does smell good. And look this way, Sid. And I like to put the bronzer right on top of the cheekbone, so like right around this area. If you put it any lower, it can look a, li a little bit muddy and you don't want that and you wanna be able to lift the cheek up. So I'm just gonna, again, do a drop. It looks super, super harsh now, but you're gonna blend it in. Turn the other way. And again, keep it high up because the lower you get, it's gonna bring the face down. So you wanna keep it in the cheeks and then lift it up, in the cheekbones, not the cheek, and then lift it up. And then you wanna go a little bit underneath the jawline. Turn the other way. On the jawline to make everything even. And then also on the forehead. You're just gonna keep blending because the more you blend, the less muddy it's gonna look and the more seamless. And then you just wanna connect these parts. So you wanna take the bronzer, connect the forehead bronzer you just put in the cheeks and then blend it by the temples. Take a drop more, not too much. And then connect the cheekbone bronzer that you did in the forehead and connect it. So glad I came here tonight And I see you got what I wanted I like to put a little bronzer down the side of my nose. You don't have to. This is just what I like to do. You don't have to. I just feel like it makes everything connect. You don't want to start off super, super heavy because then you can't come back from that. Okay. So I'm going to stop there for now. And then at the end, if I feel like I need more, I'll do more. Um, then I'm going to go in with some blush. We're using the Milani brush, but again, like I said before, use whatever you have. Um, this is the color Luminoso. I'm gonna use the same brush, but if you have different brushes, that's fine. So I'm gonna take a little bit, I'm gonna tap it off. And then all, the same thing with the blush, you don't really wanna put on the apples of your cheek. If that's what you prefer, that's fine. Um, cheekbone and bring it up instead of the apples. I just think it gives more of a natural finish. And it looks crazy, but we're gonna blend it out, right? So I'm gonna brush off the excess off my hand. That way the brush is clean. And you just wanna blend this in. A brighter blush usually works better for sage makeup. So something bright like a, like a pink or a coral, nothing super similar to like a bronzy shade. You don't want that gonna really blend it. Then I like to put a little bit of blush on the nose. That way it looks natural. Okay. And then I'll bring you in closer so you can see. So that's what we got so far. Very natural, not too much. And we can always add later. And then again, you don't have to, but I like to go into the sponge and just dab everything to make it blend nice. We're gonna move on to the eyes. So I usually start with like a fluffy brush. Again, you don't need so many blush, uh, brushes. We have a lot here just cause it came in a set, but you don't really need that many. You just need a fluffy brush and a brush similar to this. So you can just use these two. We just have like five or six. So whatever you have is fine. Moved you a little closer that way you can see what we're doing. So I went in with that powder using the same. You don't need to buy extra stuff. A little bit of the powder just to not let the concealer crease that we put on before. You wanna put that all over the eye. And then we're gonna go in with the Morphe 90 Neutral Territory. On the competition packet, there's also a step-by-step -step how to do the makeup, um, especially the eyeshadow, and it tells you to use tones that are similar to your skin tone. First, we're gonna go in with the light color. Place the lightest color of your skin tone all over the eyelid. So in Cindy's case, it's this color, which is similar to the powder. We're going to take that same brush, this kind of brush, dip it in this first color, tap it off, and then we're gonna go in on the eyelid. So we're gonna pat that all over the eye, similar to what we did with the powder. And 
And the second step says place darker color on the outside of your eyelid and in the crease. Again, for your skin tone, so whatever color that may be, that's the color that you're gonna put in your crease, which is this part of your eye, like where you're, you can feel like the top of your eye, um, your eyeball, that's where you're gonna put it. In Sydney's case, we're gonna use, mix these two colors. And you can either use a brush like this, that's fluffy, or you could even use a brush like this, okay? You can get really cheap brushes at like Walgreens, like the EcoTool ones, or um, there's another, oh, Real Techniques, that's the other brand, that you can get makeup brushes. The, the makeup applicators that are like the little eyeshadow ones, they don't work the best. You could use those if they work for you. I just don't prefer them. I prefer the brushes. So we're gonna take this kind of brush. Again, I mix these two colors and we're gonna put it in her crease. So I'm gonna have her open her eyes and you just wanna stamp the color and then go back and forth. Now I'm gonna do more of this dark color. Again, it doesn't have to be so fancy. I'm gonna put that color in there and deepen it up. And not too high, like over here I went a little too high, but we can clean it up later. If you wanna go that high, you wanna keep it in the crease. Okay, and then just to clean it up, I'm gonna take that sponge again, or you can take a makeup wipe, we just don't have one right now, and dab it. Okay, so this is what we're working with so far. Close your eyes, Sid. So now the third step says, finish off with the darkest shade of brown on the outside of your eye again whatever is good for your skin tone. I'm gonna go in with Sid with this color and maybe mix a little bit with that. That's why we wanted everyone to get a similar palette, uh, the same palette. That way everything looks pretty cohesive. So I'm gonna take this brush, but again, you can still use this brush. And I'm just gonna put this on the outside, stamp it this way on the outside. You almost wanna think you're making like a V or a triangle. So you wanna stamp it and then just blend it in. Like that. So before I blend it, I'll show you. Close your eyes in. So we just stamped it right here on the outside. Right there. Okay. So I'm gonna keep going in with that dark color and just deepening it up until I think it looks finished. So all these colors are matte. I like to start off with the matte and then add a little bit of the shimmer just because I like a matte look and I think that's what looks best on stage. Okay, so same thing, I'm gonna turn you a little bit. I'm taking this brush, but again, you can use this brush. Actually, I'll use this brush on the other eye. I'm gonna take this color right here, tap it off and do the same thing. You wanna make like a V. So on the top, on the bottom, and then blend it in. This brush you're just going to have to pack more color on with, that's all. I'm going to keep blending. finished. Then I'm going to go in with this brush, the fluffy brush. I'm going to brush off the rest of the shadow off my hand and I'm just going to smooth out all the edges so that's not so harsh. Smooth it out. Okay. Then since I feel like we lost a little bit of the brightness of the eyes, I'm going to go in again with that first color and I'm going to focus it on the middle of her eye, and then out. I'm going to grab a little bit of this color, which a little shimmer, 
And I'm gonna grab this brush, the same brush that we've been using on the eyelid. So just a little bit. And when you're using a shimmer, you really wanna like pack it on instead of like brushing it. the same blush brush and bronzer brush that we've been using. Brush it off on your hand, look up sit. And we're just gonna brush away that eyeshadow if any fell. Okay, so I went in, I just blended the eye a little bit just to make sure everything looks seamless. I added a little bit of this color and this color to the top by her eyebrow just to clean everything up. Make sure everything looks like seamless. So that's what we're working with so far. And then next you're gonna wanna do eyeliner. This is the eyeliner that we're using, the Maybelline Master Precise All Day. It is liquid. Liquid works better than pencil just cause you get a thinner line. And yeah, and it just like looks nicer in our opinion. And we also have like a felt tip, which I just think works easier. So you're gonna wanna take the eyeliner. The, um, the felt tip up against the lashes and just make a line. You wanna start thin and then build it. You wanna continue one straight line. Okay. doesn't have to be perfect. The eyeliner just gives the illusion of thicker lashes. And also I just feel like it finishes the makeup. Yes. Do not go so thick with the eyeliner, especially if you don't have like a lot of eyelid space. Like I really don't, so I usually do a super thin line. That way your eyes don't look so small. But again, I'm sure whatever you do is gonna look great. Okay? So I'm not gonna use an eyelash curler on her because I just don't feel like it's necessary. But I'm gonna go in with the Lori, is this L'Oreal? Uh, yeah. So, yeah. L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly, Butterfly. mascara. It's really good. Um, I use waterproof just in case they sweat. You don't want like flaky mascara. So I always brush a little bit of the mascara off. Again, do whatever is comfortable with you. That's just what I do. And I'm gonna hold the brush. Again, you can either do it facing them or off to the side, which I think is easier. They're gonna wanna look up. I mean, I'm sorry tilt their head up, but look down. And you're gonna, to make this not look clumpy, you're gonna wanna do long strokes, nice and uh, slow. Look up Sid a little bit, open the eye. Now Sid has really long lashes, so she's not gonna need a lot. And you don't wanna put a lot. So, just gonna coat them. I know some people like to use fake eyelashes. We don't require it, because we don't feel like it's necessary. But if you feel like, I know some of the kids don't like the feeling of putting on mascara and the parents prefer to use eyelashes just because it makes them feel better, that's fine. Again, do whatever you feel is comfortable. If you do choose to do fake eyelashes, please do something that's super natural, not that's gonna have eyelashes up to their eyebrow. You don't want that. So I just did one really thin coat. So at this point, everything's on besides obviously the lipstick. Um, if you feel like you, she needs a little more bronzer or a little more mascara, blush, whatever you feel, this is the time to, you know, check everything out. I'm gonna add a drop more blush just so on stage at the stage like she doesn't look flushed. Bronzer, she doesn't need anymore because she's, I think she's pretty luminous. Oh geez, you fell. <laughs> All right. So I'm just gonna add a drop more blush just because under the stage lights, I don't want her to look flushed. So just a drop, literally not that much. And this this blush is also not matte. It's pretty like luminous. That way it adds to the, her glow. So just a drop, just so she doesn't look flush. I like to do a little bit of blush on the nose, on the chin, makes everything feel balanced. And then at this point, if you feel like she looks a little oily and she needs powder, that's where obviously it's personal preference, whatever you feel. I don't think she needs anything else. 
If she comes off stage, that's when you would want to start powdering to make sure the makeup stays. Um, I'm just gonna, just cause I like to do this, do a sponge to make sure there's no crazy lines. And then always make sure you're blending down the neck. That way you don't have like a mask, whatever, do, 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 do. Okay. Now is when you're gonna wanna go in with your lipstick. If the kids are eating and stuff, like if you do the makeup in the morning, do not put the lipstick on because then the lipstick looks like crap. So this is the lipstick that's required. We didn't want to do a red because it's a little bit stark and heavy. You're gonna just want to do a little bit of this. Usually you don't want to put um, either lip liner, you don't have to, but if you prefer, and make sure the girls have chapstick on. So yeah, now you're just gonna go in with the lipstick, which I'm really bad at doing on other people. So I'll try my best. I like to make a line down the middle and then kind of use the lipstick to outline it. Okay, so I brought in reinforcement. <laughs> also apply the lipstick using the lip brush which I think might be better yeah which we think is better because it's a dark color and you don't want to mess up the foundation that foundation sees cream whatever you you're using you want to mess it up so yes yeah, so you can use the lip brush open the lipstick put a little bit of the, the lipstick on the brush and then brush it on like that either way okay so this is the finished look okay me sunshine is Carrie there's gonna be people there to help you so don't worry the, the makeup also took a little bit longer because I was explaining, but this could be done literally in like 15 minutes. So yeah, so thanks for watching. <laughs> Say bye. This is what we came here for.